She's nervous. I'm so hungry. There it goes. So you want to switch? Want to flip flop it? Yeah, yeah. Flip -flop. Thank you, sir. This is so intense. That's nice. I like it. What do you think? One to ten scale of the one to ten. Seven point five. Obviously, it's the first bite. One bite, everyone knows the rules. Oh, a nice little shout out right there. All right, I'm gonna go in. You're gonna go in? Very cheesy. It's a little warm, not hot. And uh, I'm starving. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. No, I'm just kidding. It's a eight or nine. I'm starving, I'm starving, so. All right, you guys, we're at trade night right now. Absolutely insane, the lows. I'm here with my boy, Zach. 2023 National, we're repping. It's we're repping. sweaty as shit. It is hot here, bro. Hot as hell, What's, dude. What do you got in your hand? Drake London, Mosaic Black 101. Wow, look at this. For sale. For sale, What's, what, what do you want on this? Make me an offer. Ah, oh, okay, making an offer. I'll give an arm and a leg, here, take him. All right, bad. Yeah, what, what do you got in your case? Let me see what you got. Okay. This is a new Zion? Yeah. What the hell? Oh wait, hang on. Combination, combination code. Yeah. Man, so usually they they kick us out on the on the other side till twelve, but they just gave us free reign to take over this entire lobby side. So I officially have to say it. The Lowe's is in my good graces again. All right, let's see it. Oh, how much we got cash? Yeah. Wow, Tani. Steph Curry on card auto. Yeah. Top. Dang, Billy Williams auto, 61. Another Billy Williams. Oh, this next card's an absolute banger. My PC. Greatest quarterback of all time. No question. You're saying that in Chicago, that's impressive. That is numbered three out of four. It's beautiful. Let's see what else we got. The Bears sucks. Oh, uh, Johnny Knoxville. It's not sick. That is sick. Who's this? Roberto Clemente. Carlos Beltran. Yeah. What do we got in here? Wow. We got a 61 clear Jerry West authentic auto 10. What did he write on there? The logo. The logo inscribed. That's sick. What's your favorite part about the national, man? The people, honestly. The people. At the end of the day, it's all cards, but you got to understand these memories that you're going to be building, they last a lifetime. So it's it's really about the people over the cards. Beautiful card. That's why, that's where I got it. What else is moving? What else, what else we got? I was literally into it for like six, seven. I've just been picking up T-Loss. It doesn't make sense. T-Loss. Okay. 570, sorry. That's I want to ask you guys a question. Mm -hmm. Who's the starting quarterback to the Niners in week one? Purdy. Everybody, one name. Purdy. Who do you got? Sam Darnold. Who do you got? That's a pretty good question. Who's the starting quarterback? I think it's Trey Lance. Trey Lance. Trey Lance. Darnold was Geno Smith this year, baby. Oh. He's gonna CMC. CMC. <laughs> Josh Johnson. What do you got? Who Lance. Do you? Trey Lance. Trey Lance. Trey Lance. All right. Nice. Who do you have? Yeah, what do you think? Oh Trey Lance is starting week one. Let's go. What do you got? What's in the collection? All right. We got a sports card investor. Let me see. Oh, you actually got this. Yeah, we got a sports car uh, and next What's the plan with the pieces of cardboard? Uh, it's just like for graphing, like just to collect it. Okay. Uh, oh, no, Michael Rubin? Michael Rubin. This is autograph? Yeah. Bro, what? I gotta see this. That was sick. How was he? Bro, he met Michael Rubin. What did you, you say to him? How was he? Oh, uh, yeah, he was just, he, he was at the trade Car night. Collector 2 trade night. He was at trade night? Yeah. Was he, what was he buying? Oh, uh, he was just chilling there and he was like just giving out deals to like kids. Like he was like letting kids win like big on trades. Really? Yeah. Wow. Doing the giveaways. Yeah, that's a vibe, bro. Yeah. We got, um, 
Obi Toppin's brother. Jacob? He's Jacob Toppin. What's he doing here? Oh, um, Michael Cooper and Bronner. Really? Did you meet Meek Mill? I tried, man. Oh, Meek Mill would have been sick. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I like it. Yes. That's a beauty. Yeah, it's so low right now. What what is it? What do you value? What do you want for this? I do like eight fifty right now. Eight hundred fifty. Yeah. It's that low. It was like forty eight hundred before last season. And it's what is? Yeah. It's down that bad. Yeah. Why? People are scared right now. I guess. You don't think? He, I think he's gonna start now. Could. If he starts, I think that's back up to like two. What else you get? Uh, I just picked this stuff up. Just. Ooh, <laughs> that's a good yeah. buy. Yeah. What else you got? Got bees. Got the highest grade, pop four. That's sick. Yeah, not grade high. That's sick, man. Appreciate it. I like this. We're at trade night right now. We're taking our yearly photo. Pensacola, Florida. Pensacola, Florida. All right, let's see it. So Shaq, Logo Man. All right. You strictly collect Shaquille O'Neal. Um, Shaq and LeBron, but and me, LeBron yeah, James. But the my collection I'm known for is for Shaq's, obviously. Right, so so what I picked you pick up, up this. Pretty rare 2000 2001 Stadium Club Lone Star Auto. Uh, couldn't even find a comp in the last like 10 years on it, uh, but got it. Uh, pretty excited about it. Uh, can't wait to show it off on my IG. So, what makes this one so rare? Obviously, it's on par. Yeah. What's like the, was it a short print set? Or? Yeah, it was, it was a short print back in the 2000 2001 set. Uh, they also had dual uh, co signers too. Oh, so, yeah. that's what made this uh, set pretty special. So, and then just this check just never pops up. I uh, actually don't don't know the reason why, but uh, yeah, this one's pretty rare. Like he had, he was in the uh, other other years as well, the 01, 02, and 02, 03, and he had those pop up pretty regularly. But this one hardly ever pops up. Wow, wow. love it, love the on card, and it looks nice. huge auto. It's like twenty years old. Huge auto, nice and blue. I mean, it's perfect. Can't beat it. Yeah, it can't awesome. beat that. Yeah. Look at this, you guys. Tell them the story. I met you. Listen. I, I met Jay at Atlantic City, and uh, I just started my YouTube channel. I went up to him, I talked to him, I told him how much I liked his channel, and he started giving this me some pointers and things like that. And he says, wait a second, I'm gonna give you a shout out. So he says, everybody, sign up to a collector's dream, and we gotta get this dude up to a thousand subscribers. How well, do you got now? Now, this year, I'm over 1,600 subs. My man. Oh. Thanks, Let's to, go. thanks to Jay, man. No, bro, you, you worked hard for Thank it, bro. You. Anybody can make content. Appreciate it. That's so cool, bro. Awesome, man. That's amazing. Are you kidding me? It's crazy, that, bro. I never thought I would get to that. Bro. It's just crazy. And I've been, people are calling me for interviews and shit. Oh. Mike, baseball collector, gave me an interview. Uh, Ryan Nolan. Well, I'm rooming with Ryan Nolan, bro. He's my, he's my roommate at the show now and stuff. I, I met him in Atlantic City. We became good friends, and it's been crazy. Dude. This card community is awesome best hobby in the world awesome, bro guys. trade night best everything. hobby in the world it's tonight. just super super awesome everybody is super nice and, and jay gave me that big plug man i had 200 subscribers when and when i left when i got home it was almost 500 subscribers from the national and a lot of it was him and ryan nola gave me a plug also on his on trade night love to see and it, i man. tell you man it's a vibe right there it's it's, be, it's become fun 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 Let's and go. i love the hobby man love the hobby Let's go. Appreciate congratulations it. To come that was so cool you, man, man. I'm, so, I'm super pumped bro. that's good that's amazing bro if you want to make content do it take a chance like just create a story the way to make a youtube video easiest thing i can easiest advice i'll give anybody in this community intro what you're going to talk about in the video the middle is your content and just wrap it up with an ending intro middle end you can make any video you want in the world all you need is this that's all you need turn it on and record show some cards and that's it it's fun and and you get to be part of the card community content 101 yeah He's got over a thousand subscribers. Over a thousand subs. Yes. Let's go, yes. man. That's a good call. That's awesome. All right, Chad, what's your YouTube out? Junior Baseball Fanatic 12. And you're at a thousand? Uh, 1,300. Let's get him to 2,000 by the end of the national. Last time I talked to him, I said he was at 200 subs. I said, let's get this guy to a thousand. This guy got how many? 1,600. 1,600, bro. It's crazy. And this guy's putting together a 1959 set. You're doing 1959 set? Yeah. Why 1959? I've just always loved the design of the set. The color is amazing. 
I'm a pitcher and I love Bob Gibson. His rookie card's in that Bob set as Gibson. well. How old are you? 13. 13 and you just said, I love Bob Gibson. <laughs> Bob Gibson rookie card. Wow, can we see it? Can you come to your channel too? Yeah. Keep the hobby going yeah. for years to come. You know, I'm old, you're middle aged, and he's a baby. <laughs> Look at that, 1959 Bob Gibson. How does it feel to pick up something like this at a national card show with all with like people that love the hobby? It, it just felt amazing. I I got a great price on it. It's a card that's going straight into my PC and everything. So I'm gonna ask you. You just mentioned PC. What advice do you have for somebody if they want to start a PC? Like what goes into that? Um, like a player. So for me, I go to a lot of spring training games. Yeah. And um, if I meet a player that's just nice, genuinely nice to the fans, I PC them because it's like. If you're, if you're not a great ball player, or if you're a great ball player, as long as you're a nice person, that's what I like. That's what I'm talking about, bro. I do the same thing. I PC guys that are cool and guys that love the hobby. I think it's cool. So that's an awesome pickup, man. Look at that. How many times are you gonna see a 13 year old pick up a 1959 Bob Gibson and have a smile and an attitude like this? It's amazing. That's a love of the hobby right there. I love it, bro. Congratulations. That's a good thing. I really like it. Oh, that's good stuff. And that's your dad? What a, look at your studio team. You got mom and dad. Who's the editor? Who's the editor? Me. He, he does it better than us, that's for sure. <laughs> and, and are you just here to support? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's good. That's great, man. We're around spring training a lot, so he, he's he's homeschooled, so mom takes him to most of the spring training games. My mom took me to my first NBA games to get autographs, and I used to go to the card store, get some Panini cards, and get all the rookies signed, and I'd go to spring training, the Camelback Ranch, and meet Kershaw and Koufax and all those guys. Yeah, it's, a, it's cool. It's, a, it's such a good hobby to be a part of. It, when I was in high school, it kept me out of trouble. And just in general, like it just was, it taught me so many life lessons about communication and business. You learn business at 13. You're going to learn stuff in this that you will never learn in college. You'll never learn in college what this, what doing this has taught me. And it's amazing. Priceless. Share it with your family. There's nothing better than family. So, yeah. We just have 40,000 40, subscribers. 40,000 yeah. subscribers. You gotta, we're going to pass some of that on to you guys, though, man. You got to pass them on. 40,000. That's yeah. incredible. It was crazy, man. Yeah, yeah man. We got a great community, you're bro. You're doing this full time now. Full time, yep. So it's, awesome. good. it's a vibe, man. I thought man. you'd leave your mom's house. You know? <laughs> like, I'm still in the basement. I, I, I can still go in the basement. No. Yeah, all right. No, no, no. <laughs> It's all good. Grandma allows you there. My grandma. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Yeah, I love my grandma. We love her, man. We yeah. Love Thank you, bro. Yeah, appreciate you guys. Yeah, man. Yeah, if you want to do some content, you're able to give me the packs and all that stuff. So it just, I, it resonates with me, and to see your parents involved, like cherish the times you have with them, man. Well, we know the family donuts are okay there too. The yeah, donuts yeah. <laughs> are still going. My dad is making donuts right now. Like no joke. It's it's unbelievable. You gotta start early in the morning to make those donuts. Early in the sure. morning, bro. Yeah. It's an absolute. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, man. Yeah. Oh, you did that for a little bit. I did do that for a little bit. I used to make donuts, and then huh, when I had football camp, that was a disaster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you it's think, a grind, man. You still in a grind. Yeah. yeah. So. But I'm yeah. proud of you, man. You've yeah. done well. You've been awesome. You. Hey, man, thank and you. And don't take any of the negative stuff that people tell about you and stuff. You know, all these people say all oh, the drama. Yeah. Definitely. This is content. This is content, real content. It's all good. He was able to give me the packs and all that stuff, so it just, I, it resonates with me, and to see your parents involved, like, cherish the times you have with them, man. Well, we know the family donuts are okay there, too. The yeah. donuts yeah. are still going. My dad is making donuts right now, like, no joke. It's it's unbelievable. You've got to start early in the morning to make those donuts. Early in the sure. morning, yeah. bro. It's an absolute, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, man. What a, can I look at this? Yes, please do. Look at this Peyton Manning three color patch auto. There's this is like a freaking uh homemade market at the national. What do you think of all this? Is this crazy? It's madness. Hey, you want to this? Hey, we're just getting started, baby. This is crazy. The lowest hates us, but it's all good. Cash, cash, what's the word? 
This is crazy. This is like a flea market. <laughs> a bazaar. What is this? Is this something new? I'm like a Persian, you know, I'd set up anywhere. You're like 5K, that's just true. Why well, does the one black box 101? Wow. You I'm up, I'm doing like, uh, like 4K. How about this Keegan? Keegan's like 250. It's my PC right there. What about that Kenny Pickett BGS9? So the raw does 550. What can you do on this? Uh, or you, I'll do 700. Leave some meat on the bone. I am. I think it's like 800. Man, I would love to own this. I gotta look for some. Jo I I gotta choose between Jordan Love and Trey Lance. So I'll pick Jordan Love. I I. Am I risking it all with Trey Lance? I'm not. I gotta I gotta stay. It sounds like I gotta stay away. I got the forewarning from you guys. I appreciate it. Jordan starting. Uh, all right. They tell me. They're telling me to choose up Jordan Love. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna think. Let me think about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I just picked up. Uh, yeah. Pick up. Let's see it. This guy has some unbelievable stuff. Woohoo! A LeBron Chrome Refractor. Dang, you're buying Trey Young? I got it in a trade. What? I traded for all these. No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, I, I got like two uh, vinyl. Wow. Uh, what'd you trade for these? Uh, T Law and I got cash in these three. The T Law RPA? Yeah. Wow. Highest grade. I don't know. A little bit nervous from that, but. But what goes into a trade, man? Like, how do you decide? Like, like you don't ever get nervous. You just traded a Tila RPA. Like, yeah. You just go. Just you, like, you just yeah. Keep moving. You just have to be confident. You know what you're in it for. You know what you can get out of it. Like, you pretty much in your mind, like, you you hear the card trade values and everything, but you just got to think, I can move it for this price. I can move for this price. I can move for this price, and that's kind of like the cash price you're getting offered in the moment. And you got to get stuff that will move, obviously. Of course, yeah. But it's tough, bro. I make mistakes for it yeah. because, like. They gotta be liquid cards. Yeah. Well, I feel like at this point, because there's so many flippers and like investors, every card is liquid at a certain number. It's like even if it's like a Trey Young who can't move right now, at a certain number he's gonna move. It's just gonna be lower because he can't move as much. So. Yes. You got a lot of Sam Howell. What do you think there? I'm love Sam. You, what? I am Sam. I'm a fan of Sam. Sam Howell or Desmond Ritter? Sam Howell all day. What's tell me about Sam Howell? What should I know about him? Well, easy. Eric B. Enemy. Eric B. Enemy, the best offensive coordinator, is now the coordinator of our team. Oh, it's you like the you're watching football? Yeah, watching. I'm from Washington DC, so it's good. Yeah. So he has the right weapons, a good O line? Everything. O line is good, but I think I'm more counting on the coaching. I'm counting on the coaching. 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 Eric Bieniemy. So you aren't afraid that uh, that your coach is not one of the highest odds to be fired early this season? I'm not worried about that. I hope he does, because then Eric Bieniemy becomes the head coach. Oh, that's what we want. Honestly, that's good. I'm not a big fan of Ron Rivera, but I'm a yeah. bigger fan of Eric Bieniemy. I think he's going to help our offense a lot. From the All Chiefs. he has to do is get the ball out quicker. Yeah, we got some we got some inside information here. Okay, fair. What a beautiful card. Yeah, that. I feel like those marbles are the prettiest cards almost in the hobby. It looks great, right? Like, we didn't yeah. They've only been out two years, I think. Do you ever, like, how do you differentiate, like, the emotional attachment to Sam Howell? Because that's your team, but, like, what if you get the right, like, what if you get the crazy offer on this card? So, I'm, all these are for sale. The only one I really kind of want to keep is this one. Why that, that one? Because it's cool? the biggest one. See, this one's the same. They're both two and four. They're both Jim Mint 10s. But this horse, you know, obviously the vertical is worth a lot more than the horizontal. That's sick. A lot of people are trying to buy him and they're trying to buy Desmond Ritter, and it's been crazy. 22 class, you got to pick one or the other. So, one of my sneakier kind of things, uh, guys that you have, you got Mac Jones here. What do you think about Mac Jones, Bailey Zappi? Who's taking the job on? I think Mac Jones is definitely going to take the job, but I don't know if he's going to play well because he doesn't have a lot of weapons. They do have a coordinator now. Yeah. But does he have enough weapons? Is the, is the scary question. Oh, is scary. Yeah. Do they have enough weapons? Because yeah. I like him too. My buddy's got a whole bunch of Mac Jones. But... I think he's cheap right now, so I don't know. I'm... Yeah, it's not a bad buy. Not a bad buy. Not a bad Are you on Instagram? Yes. What is we're sold out cards? Sold out cards. Yeah. Like, Thanks for sharing. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah, good vibe, bro. Yeah, I love that man. He's from DC. He's got some good info. 
kind of some he when someone starts bringing up the offensive coordinator and the coach i like to tap in and see what the heck what's actually going on there he tapped in pretty good there and it's like me being a sacramento kings fan i could tell you all day don't buy davion mitchell love the guy great defender but just not a marketable guy that we're gonna buy but he's a good player i'd rather buy keegan murray over davion flip four what'd you guys do uh we did this we were between so this is my bird so this is, his, so this is my bird that's his lillard and it was between me adding 375 on top of this for that or four and he oh, and he got it for yeah we was top of hey how many coin flips do you guys think you'll do tonight first ever coin flip for you ever and you just won yeah one and oh Good start. undefeated see that we'll stop there we're gonna stop there the gambling habit though i mean one one for one no more coin flips that's great man night congratulations yeah thanks bro man it is just it's an absolute vibe Game worn, a one of one Mike Stanton USA patch. Or, uh, sorry, future, Futures game. Nice. Hey, how hard are these to find? Well, that's a 2010 All Star game. I mean, for you, how, how, what do you, how do you find these? So I bought a lot of them on eBay, and then I would track people down through like Google. I'd find the photo, and then I'd try to figure out who they were. What do you what do you like about these? It's the whole patch with the logo man on them. Look at that, the whole logo man. They don't make them like that anymore. You're right. They the futures game. They they have little patches now. They don't do anything big anymore. Uh, That's why. Oh, get in here! Get in here! Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Oh, this is, this is absolute, absolute, what the national is all about. Absolutely, so we're at the national. Absolute. Nico was a dog earlier, wasn't he? <laughs> He's a absolute degen. Degen. We're here. here. Absolute degen. The four of the best all together. Let's do this. It is absolutely insane here. We have dealers all over. Millions of cards, probably millions of dollars being spent and traded out tonight. The trade night is the heart of the hobby. It's not all about the deals, but a lot of deals do happen. A lot of dealer to dealer doesn't really happen here. It's more collector to collector, flipper, investor. Everybody's here tonight. And let me tell you guys, if you missed out on this, just keep watching this content, keep supporting. And if you ever want to get to a trade night for the national, it's usually at the nicest hotel. We will be at the Lowe's hotel each night for these huge trade nights. It's one o'clock in the morning and we are going to be trading until the sun rises. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like this video, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. We're out.